get my bike out? Okay. Pedal. My grandson and I were playing in the sand at the volleyball courts the other day and it was really kind of funny. We had taken his bicycle out there and it still has training wheels on because he's three. And we set him on the bicycle in the sand and he tried to pedal. And it would just dig and dig and dig and dig and fly sand everywhere and he was making no progress at all. But it had sprinkled during the day and so when he got off of his bicycle and started walking around it, he realized that every place that he stepped, there was a footprint. Now normally in this white sugar sand you don't see that. You don't see footprints at all. And so he would step and then he would look down at his feet and he would pick up his foot and move and realize right where he had just stepped, right where he was standing, there were footprints that looked just like his feet. It was fascinating to a three-year-old to realize every time I step, I leave a footprint. And like a shadow, he tried to outrun them, and they followed him. And he would go left and go right, and they would follow him. And he would turn around, and they would follow him. And he would go backwards, and they would follow him. And he got an absolute kick out of the fact that everywhere he placed his foot, he left a footprint. And he would say to me, Poppy, see my feet? See my feet? My feet? See my feet? I wonder in your leadership style, does anyone else say, see my feet? Do you have a mentor that says to you, walk where I have walked? Are you the kind of mentor that says, walk where I have walked? If you want to find success, walk where I have walked. If you want to avoid pitfalls, walk where I have walked. Just put your feet right where mine are. I've made it this far. I'm still alive. No landmines. No quicksand, no opening caverns to suck you into the ground. If you just walk where I walked, you're going to find a shortcut to your success. You're going to find that all these things you're trying to discover on your own, they've already been discovered. Many of the processes that you have to go through, they're not really 15 diverging roads in the wood. They're one or two that have proven to be successful and several that other people have wandered down and if you look really close footprints going that way are probably coming back this way because it was a dead end or footprints going that way end up on the other road after wandering through the forest like i have done if you want to find success see my feet you see where i've been follow the path that i've already blazed for you i've already been through here with the machete the woods have already been trimmed back. The overgrown grass is worn down from the number of people who've been this way before. The opportunity for you to simply follow what's already been done, it's there. It's been done in relationships. It's been done in the sales call process. It's been done in marketing. It's been done in technologies. Follow the footprints that are already there. Now, granted, there are those who are trailblazers. There are those among you who are looking out at all of the divergent paths in the woods and saying, I think I'll take none of them. I'm gonna go over here and make a new path. I'm gonna go a new way. I'm gonna do things differently than have ever been done. Good on you. I hope you understand that by blazing a new trail, every new pitfall, every new lion's den, snake pit, edge of the cliff, Grand Canyon, every one of them that exists, you have a chance to fall into all on your own. And I'm not telling you, don't do it because of that. If that's what you're called to, to blaze a new trail in marketing, to blaze a new trail in technology, to blaze a new trail in relationships and the way we lead and the conversations that we have. I mean, there was once a Freud who came up with new ideas that no one had before. There was once an Einstein. There was once a Steve Jobs and a Bill Gates and a Mark Zuckerberg, 
And there's no reason why you can't be one of them. But I will say, for every place where someone has already been before you, for every opportunity to see my feet and walk in those footprints, you will find that blazing trails are much more complicated than following the ones that have already led to success. In your leadership, what kind of leader are you? Are you blazing trails that no one can follow? Or blazing trails that no one wants to follow? Or are you walking where everyone else has already been in the feats that are already there? Or are you leaving footprints for others to follow? I'm not gonna tell you how to lead, but I'm gonna tell you as a leader, whether you're going the right way or the wrong way, you're leaving footprints. And I promise you, someone will be walking in them. I hope it's for the good. And I hope it's someone that you care about dearly. I'm Jay Lauren Norris from Tell It Like It Is TV, and you've been watching the Leading Leaders Podcast. Have a blessed day.